It's me, Mr. Four Eyes, K. Ronoop here with Charlie Boy Peters, Muay Thai Grand Prix Championo. Is that the right way of saying it? No, it's not really Italian, is it? We're here at Double K Gym. You can see everyone's finished up now. Um, you can scroll below, you see some training videos of him whacking stuff. Try and, yeah, well, I'll try to, yeah. Um, was it, you might have a little bit taken out a bit of frustration on the on the bags, not getting a fight now with Liam Harrison. It called off yesterday. Yeah, I found out <clears throat> a few days ago, but had to wait for the replacement. I mean, it's a fantastic replacement, if not harder, more prestigious, you could say, but it's not the fight I want. You know, I mean, I fought everyone else in the UK that I need to. I'm number two, he's number one, let's fight. But it just seems like always an excuse. We, we, we tried a couple times last year, um, obviously this time around. He's got a shoulder injury, but yet he's still working and holding pads. So I don't know how serious the shoulder injury could be. Um, you know, I don't, I've got injuries. I've got a serious injury. I'm not gonna tell you what, I'm not gonna tell you how or what. I'm still working around it and I'd still fight because I know that opportunities like this won't happen. They're saying it's gonna happen in November, mm -hmm. but I know that it won't. He's got a fight four weeks after on another show um, or something like that, and he'll do that one. So it's kind of like just one thing after the other. I mean, you know, everyone has injuries and everyone gets injuries leading into camps. Everyone has it, you know, as serious as one another, you know, whatever. You can't have a serious shoulder injury and still be holding pads and teaching. Can't be that bad, right? I had a really bad neck and shoulder problem and I, I had to take a week off of everything. That was a few weeks ago and I really couldn't move. I had to see an osteopath four times. You know, I couldn't do anything. Um, so, whatever, do you know what I mean? What can you do, what can you do? You're clearly not happy about it. You're not fully buying the, the explained mitigating circumstances, as you've, as you've obviously stated. Listen, if you're injured, you're injured, whatever. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. It, it's, it doesn't matter what the excuse or reason is, the fight isn't happening. Um, I was at a show last weekend and the main discussion wasn't even about the fight, it was right. if the fight would happen. Oh. Let's just see if it turns out, let's just do it. I mean, we all know Liam Harrison will fight anyone outside of the UK. The last time he was meant to fight someone was Greg Wooten. Um, again, another reason for him to pull out. Um, I can't even remember the last time he fought someone from the UK. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying he's, you know, whatever. It is what it is, think, think what you think, but a lot of people didn't, a lot, sorry, a lot of people knew it would happen, you know, and, and, and a lot of people expected it, that's what I'm trying to say. A lot of people expected it, so. So what's that, for it not to happen in July? For, the, for this exact thing to happen like this. The amount of people, the amount of messages I've had, and I won't call out anyone or put yeah. anyone in it, but the amount of messages I've had from the people in the UK seeing, saying, we called it, we told you, we said so, you know, Injuries do happen, yeah. they do happen, but uh, whatever. Like you said, and when we spoke about it before last year as well, it's a fight you wanted for a long time, you know, you want to challenge. It's a stepping stone, isn't it? And, you know, he's he's, he's ranked number one for about a decade now. You're, you're, you worked time. your way up to number two, and then Liam, even Liam has said to me that, yeah, you know, you deserve your shot for the number one number one spot, and he's willing to fight you in open, and, 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 and will fight you, he's open to it, and before last year and the year before, we're scheduling. Um, I did contact Liam Harrison last night and I'm going to be catching up with him this evening. Um, now, he, he kind of explained, I couldn't fully understand the shoulder injury. Like the, the, I know it's it sounds bad from what he's explained to me um, and I'm I'll sure accept it, it. But then obviously when you're saying other things like he's still working and the shoulder and this and you're, you're raising those questions, you know, it yeah, it's going to make people think. Um, and obviously Liam will get his opportunity to, to reply tonight when we when we catch up. Uh, so look out for that, we'll go up later tonight overnight. And um, it's a shame, look, the main thing is that we hope obviously when someone's injured that they get a strong, healthy recovery. And that's the first thing I said yesterday. I mean, I, it's the fight game, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and at the end of the day, he, he, he still have his life, the rest of it and everything else after the fight. So I hope it's nothing too serious. I hope he doesn't yeah. need surgery or anything like that because Again, doing something that you love and enjoy, but yet your body takes such a beating to, you know, I, I hope he does recover. You know, there, there's no, 
there's no like I don't know what's the word ill like, feeling uh, yeah there's no there's ill no, feeling yeah. fuck me I just want to fight and I want to I'm, I'm chasing the dream to be number one but yet I'm stopped because someone won't take the fights in England so you know am I saying you're scared and running away nah take it as you will you know like I said I've got messages from people saying otherwise but whatever you know I hope it's nothing serious and I hope we can get it on he's saying November it's bullshit I know it won't happen in November he's just palming it off I said to Kieran I said it needs to make the fight you need to make the fight the first thing as soon as you can so it's like what 10 weeks out okay well let's do it for another 6 weeks after that so let's do the fight in 16 weeks you know like if it's that serious that's fine but don't palm it off for 10 weeks and then do the rest of your fights this year and then fight me like next year or whatever look whatever at the end of the day I fight anyway and I'll fight who I can fight so like I say I hope he has a quick recovery and I'm you know if he's still working with a bad shoulder injury it's good because at the end of the day I know that a lot of us would be fucked if we had an injury like that and couldn't work you know and you don't want mm. someone being in that position, being out of work just because of it, an injury whilst doing something he loves and enjoys. So, you know, man, like, recover, get better, let's fight. Fuck me, it's been a long time coming. Yeah, it has been a long time coming. We do wish him a, a strong, healthy recovery. But the problem is being a professional fighter, and as Fabio Pinker will, 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 will agree, and he's just joined us, you know, it's the only way you guys can earn is by being in the gym, investing your time and energy, being, you know, as, as a self-employed person, fighting in the ring, putting in the hours, and obviously like yourself, personal training. Liam does the same thing, personal training. Fabio Pinker trains people at his gym as well. You know, that's just, it could be that it's, you know, it's he, he, yeah, he, he has to just work. He has to get through it. But yeah. taking a fight could be just, just that one step too much at this moment in time. Um, but hopefully it's nothing to see, like you said, surgery, like the best mate is a, it's a former national WK champion, doesn't fight anymore, his shoulder went. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, and because he's so busy at work, he won't he won't get it repaired. Yeah. And it's just, it's unfortunate that these things happen. But I mean the fans, those of you that are watching right now, you can you can comment down below. You've got any questions for, for Charlie right here, right now, uh, that you wanna fire in. And um, you mentioned you don't want it being put off until next year. Listen, and if it gets put off to next year, it gets put off to next year. If anything, that's a plus for me, right? So More time for you to keep yeah. on evolving and improving. You know, he is one of the top five, he's one of the best in the UK, hands down. So, you know, he, he does deserve that spot, but fucking hell, you've got to defend it. Otherwise, you can't you can't beat it. Because it's the, U, the best fighter in the UK. Mm. You know, yeah, he's fighting top level fighters. I've fought in two that he's fought so far because I've been given the opportunity. Do you want to say who and when? Well, it's Pink, uh, for Fabio Pinka and um, uh, uh, Sancho. Mm. And now I'm fighting Pacon. So, you know, I'll be Pacon and then I should deserve to have that number one spot because I've done one over it. Someone's just put down there, fight him on knockout. But it was it was agreed as a, a Muay Thai Grand Prix title defence. Uh, so if it's going to happen again, it will be for the title. And even Liam said to me last night that this fight's going to happen. It's going to happen, but obviously go. not you know just I mean? yet. I know, I know Liam wants it, and I know he does. Mm. But, you know, he says he does. So, you know, he's saying it and making it happen. So, hopefully we can do the second part. Yeah, but obviously Liam's been replaced. And um, who is it going to be fighting again? Pack on. Pack on. I don't know his surname. I don't know what yeah, he's fighting. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always, it ties always to the, the gym surname. <laughs> but, but everyone knows Pack on. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, everyone knows Pacquiao. So for you, I mean, you, you, at, the, at the start of this feed, you said it was possibly a bigger challenge, a bigger name. Yeah. Why is that? It's Pacquiao. <laughs> yeah, but I, <laughs> he's had, he's, you know, he's, uh, Liam Harrison's Liam Harrison. Some fans yeah. might say as well. Pacquiao's beat Liam Harrison, mm. so that you know that, that makes him really good. Yeah. A lot better. Um, Pacquiao's beat Greg Wooten as well. Um, Who have you beat that puts you on Liam's level? Uh, question from Louis Lee Scott. Do you want to answer that one quickly? I don't even know. I I know where you're coming from. I understand. Um, but who's Liam beat as well that I fought and haven't yet? You know. So I've still fought the same people. Mm. Am I worried about Pacquiao? No. I'm, you, you, like it's a fight. 
you're going to be worried stepping into a fight no matter who it is because it's a fight but at the same time that's why you, you're going to fight you just fight you fuck it there's no point worrying mm. if I worry too much I will not fight shout out to you Josh China you just won at the WLF in, in China everyone gave him a follow as well um, I'll be catching well up done. with you Josh we didn't get to catch up with you out in K1 last year but we'll catch up soon enough yeah but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fair question by the way because that's the question that the bad co camp are going to can no, fairly this raise is, yeah. and this is what the Steve in the rankings is saying you know and, and I understand it I do I do understand it so this is this is why I want I want the fight. This is, you know this is exactly why I want the fight. Um, you know if I beat him, then will I get the spot, or do I have to then fight other people that he's fought and beat them to then claim it? Like what do you have to do to get it? So is is that what you reckon will happen? Fight I don't know. They'll make it up as they go along, I guess. When you say they, whoever. Or the, the the authority that put the rankings up, whatever, however however it works, whoever works it. I mean, people get upset, especially in kickboxing, when I say that most of these rankings are bullshit, and the only one that I go by and have done since my twenties is liver kick. But when it comes to Muay Thai, um, I just because of all the shit that's kicked off in the past that I've been K1 Noop with so-called UK kickboxing rankings. When it comes to Muay Thai, I haven't really bothered saying much, but there's something's got to be said where you've been wanting it for two years you haven't had it if this was a liver kick rankings they probably would have reshuffled things potentially possibly I don't know only, only Dave Walsh if Dave Walsh if you, when you watch this let me know would you would you reevaluate the rankings because it's these two haven't fought for two years yeah this is it this is it like you know if you haven't fought in the UK for two years whatever it's just it's just bollocks. against a UK fighter in and the it's UK just, it's, it's just fucking bollocks sometimes you know someone's going to say one thing the other one's going to say the other thing mm. Whatever, do you know what I mean? So, someone just put up. Go on. Who was it? Charlie. Yes. Darius. Good. Good question, Darius Palmer. Everyone give him a follow too. Good fighter. I spoke to Jack Kennedy last night. Now he's headlining Tanko Muay Thai League Two on Saturday. And fortunately, when we were doing a Skype, a Skype, a FaceTime, yeah, yeah. the video for his feed didn't get recorded. So I'm catching up with Jack Kennedy also, as well as Liam Harrison later tonight. Now Shit. he's ranked number three, isn't he? Oh, I'm just going to park my car. Yeah, me too. On. I want me wine in 25 minutes. What right, time go you got? No, go on, go on. I can run out with you as well at the same time. No, 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 I can do it on here. Um, now, Jack Kennedy was like, somebody posted up about Jack Kennedy versus Liam Harrison. And Jack Kennedy laughed it off respectfully. He said, you know, he was very humble. He's like, maybe not just yet. But right. when I spoke to him last night, he would, you know, he wants to keep on working his way up. Yeah. And he and he is very open in a very respectful way of, of fighting you. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that something you'd entertain sooner or than later? Yeah, I mean, I whatever. I'm getting in contact with Kieran. Um, that's how my mind go through. Um, I'll fight whoever. I really don't care. Um, I know. I know the name of Jake Kennedy. Um, I haven't personally seen any of his fights. I know he. You say he's number three in the ranking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, he's been know, building up good momentum. Last year that I've been watching him fight, he, he's you know he, he be. Um, Nathan Benden, Tommy McCormick versus last two outings. I was there last year at Yokohama when he when he fought Benden. And Nathan Benden, I know you're gonna to get to watch this, but I reckon you're you're more suited to your your style of fight, probably better suited to kickboxing. Benden's bloody good fighter, tough. And, yeah. and Kennedy overcame such a good challenge to get the decision there. And it was a it was an emphatic really I mean, good like, performance. Sometimes my my knowledge is just bad, I just fight. I would like to watch fights. But I haven't seen much of Jags. Um, but yeah, I'll fight. Whatever, that's fine. To be fair, the the, the big fight that I want at the moment in the UK is Liam. Mm. That's it. Um, that's that's the fight I really want at the moment in the UK. Otherwise, you know, maybe just just fight a pool or something. Oh, here we go. Uh, both beat Tom McCormick and would be quality fight. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's fine. Like you know, they're all they're all good arguments. Yeah, whatever. It's a good fight. I don't. I, that's fine. I'll fight him. I said, you know, I'll, I'll happily fight Jack. But the fight I want is Liam. And you got to think, the fight was agreed. And the fight was like, yeah, you know, Charlie and Liam are fighting. So I had the opportunity to fight number one. And now he's pulled out because of injury. I don't need to go back down just to fight. You know, I, I'm fighting fucking pack on. I'm not taking anything away from Jack. I'm not saying I won't fight him at all. Jack's working his way up the ladder just as much as I am. 
but I'm that one step ahead of him at the moment. And I got agreed to fight to fight number one, postponed, and now I'm fighting Paco. So like you know, if I need to, we need to, then we'll fight. We'll fight. I don't mind. You know, I'll I'll, I'll get it on. Um, Before Liam. <laughs> Depends when that fight happens. <laughs> so we'll see. You're very very doubtful, aren't you, about the fight with Liam having? Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's it's one of them where it's, it's so close, but maybe so far. So we'll see. You know, like I said, we we we, we tried enough times last year. Straight away, when Kieran found out, he tried straight away to okay, when we doing it again? Maybe here, maybe there. Got this fight, got that fight. You know. So when was it you found out? Because I saw something about a week or so ago that he was getting treatment. For an injury, and I'll, I'll be mean to reach out to Liam and, until and then. Obviously, the last night, yesterday the announcement happened. But when did you first find out that this fight was potentially off and then off? Well, Monday night I found out. Monday night before sparring, I found out that it was off. I spoke to Kieran and he told me it was off. He okay. said, well, "Don't say anything. Don't do anything. You know, we'll wait." So maybe those guys find out a week before. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I found out Monday night. So. And, and and the first thing I thought, you know, there's there's no point being spiteful or horrible about it. It's not the UFC, we don't need to hype it up. Um This bike sells itself. Exactly. You know? I and you know, I, I with all my heart I wish him a speedy recovery because, you know, you don't want someone to get something serious like that. Because it's life changing. Financially, physically, you know, I just want the fight. You know, well, that's it. Looking ahead now, back on and what happens next? Fatness, leave it to Kieran. I've got, uh, I just, listen, I just train. I the just benefits of having a manager, you can say that. Yeah, like a manager, <laughs> great trainer, great manager. I I train a lot, and he tells me when I'm fighting. That's it, I arrange. I don't even go on holiday, I just go on training. Oh, hang on. I know, I know you're not in the best of moods right now, but you've got Infusion League starting soon. Yeah, go find out about that as well. See well, what happens about well, that. Well, uh, that doesn't sound good. We'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm in it. I won the tournament. Yeah. I uh, fought in the tournament last year. Okay. I had three fights in the eight man. Um, one or three. It was an I awesome eight man to uh, tournament yeah. triumph for you. You did two, two knockouts and one TKO in the in an eight man tournament. K1. Uh, I think that was 66 kilos. Mm. Um, so that starts. But I've got. Pack why, why, why the uncertainty with the Infusion League? I haven't known anything about it yet. Um, yeah. Edwin, what's going on, mate? And then, um, <laughs> and then, um, I think I'm fighting in the K1 in Japan in September. Oh, yes. Is it going to be a super fight then? No, it's a it tournament. tournament. Eight man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. Uh, he hit it first. Eight man tournament, <laughs> September. K1, Japan, Charlie Peters is going out there. It's going to be, it'll be normal, isn't it? Four Japanese against four overseas yeah, 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 yeah. fighters. Do you know who else is on, on that card? Don't need to know yet. You heard that? He doesn't need to know. What That's how confident he is. He's just gonna fight, and he's just gonna turn up and fight. But it's uh I asked Kieran a couple of weeks ago if that fight was happening, and he said yeah, as far mm. as I'm aware, it's all happening. Um so yeah, I've got that, <clears throat> I believe in September. I mean I I I turned down um a fight in China because obviously this fight against Liam. Yeah. So I had to turn that down. Was that would that have been this weekend's gone? I don't know. Like like last week, this week, a yeah. couple of weeks. I can't. I I don't know. But I know we had to turn it down. Um, so that was guttering. Um, but yeah, I don't really know my schedule. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> cool. Right. Thank you for your time. It's always good catching up with you. And uh, like I said, everyone, I'm catching up with Liam Harrison later tonight. Um, so we get to hear from Liam himself exactly what what's you know. What, what his condition is and when we can hopefully see you and him top two in the UK finally get in the ring and um, and yeah and sort this out once and for all yes sir yeah any shout outs um, sponsors and so forth Fight Lab big shout out to Fight Lab <laughs> Fight uh, Lab I'm still waiting for my stuff you, you got in touch and said you're gonna like you know have a chat with me I'm and BGC waiting. BGC BGC um, and Motivational Nick. Yeah. Oh, wasn't your dad doing a triathlon recently? Uh, my dad's doing a half Ironman. 
this weekend yeah. in Mallorca, 53 years old. He's doing a half Ironman. He's done he's done a load before. He done the marathon a couple of weeks ago. So yeah. shout out to him. Good luck. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool stuff, your dad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, he's, a, he's pretty cool. cool. Social media, where can everyone find and follow you? Uh, Instagram, Charlie Boy Peters. Cool. All right, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Share this away and tune into the K1 Loop Facebook page and YouTube channel later. Um, it will. The interview with Liam Harrison is going to go up on YouTube first tonight. Share this away. Share it and tag whoever you want. Hashtag SFTB. Hashtag K1 Loop.